I grew up in uh, San Francisco Bay Area. I also grew up in Daly City, California. I was, you know, raised to believe I could be anything I wanted, and from from all the people that came before me out of that area, you know, I believed it, it, it was true. There's a creek that surrounds this neighborhood, and a hurricane that came to Richmond. I believe it was uh, Hurricane Gaston, and like a lot of people around here lost everything they had. Like we lost. I had just moved into this house. I lost probably 98% of everything I had, and I became homeless. Everything that I've been through in life growing up in Richmond and in Virginia, especially, it really molded me to, uh, to be able to take you know, everything that comes with this lifestyle. I had to come up in Richmond, you know, proving myself constantly, whether it was people wanting to fight me, you know, just for the way I looked, or jealous, you know, jealous over females, or whether somebody was, you know, jealous of my talent, it just prepared me for the rap game because these are all things that come with success. Today was probably the first day since I had it. I mean, but I You know, in my spare time, besides doing music, I'm really into like fashion, like sneaker culture, uh, vintage clothing, and collectibles. I've always been into you know, things from the past, and you know, them becoming new again. And uh, also, yeah, sneaker, vintage culture, anything with hip hop culture. That's when nobody, yo, that's when I'm no key at. That's always one of the top five people. Daniel, for example. Now, not that coming out of my energy. Uh, also, you know, in the tattoos. Rock, rock. That's good. That's good, man. Do that joint up? Yeah. 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 My man, my man Nate used to be in love with like Houston hip hop, Houston culture, so I thought what better way to, you know, memorialize him. My man Rock and the Houston, you know, the 84 swinger, man. Get that joint. Y'all see it'll be done. Getting tattoos, any type of urban art, uh, going traveling, seeing new places, experimenting, uh, trying new foods. People don't know. Let me. People don't know it's Chinese people in Jamaica too. It is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Chinese people in Jamaica. They'll fuck you up. You see, uh, you know what I mean? Nah, for real. You see, it's Chinese cats who've been over there for like, you know, maybe a hundred years. You know what I mean? And they got Chinese, I mean, Jamaican accent. I think like Sean Paul people is like that. And there's also Indian people, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like from yeah, India yeah. and other countries. Like I, you know, most people when they see. They just think of a Jamaican as like some dude with, you know what I mean, locks. Yeah. But they don't think that it's a country with different cultures, you know what I mean, and, and different, yeah, and ethnicities and uh, races over there. No, no, real talk. I used to really write his uh, raps. Yeah, man, he wrote my raps. Yeah. This early teenage, teenage. Did all my dance, choreographed all my my best dance moves. <laughs> I taught him how to break dance. You know what I mean, yeah. and graffiti. Everything, yeah, yeah. man. I would, I would be like a drone, a mindless drone. <laughs> 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 a mindless drone. <laughs> he is my battery. 
Swag out to the bar with the girl. We walk around empty. Yeah. It'd be like an auto oh, buzzer. <laughs> it be like I'm just an empty vessel in the sea. I ain't going to be sad. He got a lot of things already cool. I just, I just wrote his raps. <laughs> <laughs> I just put the salt. I just put the salt. Yeah, there's the you know I mean? Yeah, they I want credit for all those bars. So, you know what I mean? I can't get rap, yo. Not only that's probably one of the only Filipino joints in Richmond. We get uh, six monkey. Uh, we got punches, right? Yep. What I want people to take away from the show is that there are interesting people within arm's reach of you, and it really just starts with the conversation. SOS, baby. I mean, over this last three months, Sharad G, Sure Dog, and I. Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. I'll oh, drill y'all. Me and Sherrod have went around this city and really captured, I believe, the uh, heart and soul of Richmond, Virginia. We're at an interesting point in history where you have the past, you know, the very historical place, and now it's becoming this very artistic and forward-thinking place, and all of these, uh, all these stories and all these different timelines are starting to converge, and I believe that time is now where the past is, is meeting what Richmond is becoming in the future, and that's what we're telling through other people's lives and other people's stories. My name is Noah Odo, a.k.a. Noah O. I'm a Filipino Sicilian rapper based out of Richmond, Virginia. I'm also an entrepreneur. I run my own company, Charged Up Entertainment, LLC. I have a background in event coordination, marketing, and promotions. I also have a family. I'm a husband and a father. I just care about seeing my city and my state as a whole just come up, you know, bringing the community together and really representing it the way it needs to be represented. Next time on the evolution of Noah O.